Well, for me, um, uh, my life was uh, inextricably uh, uh, involved with um, uh, religious thought, uh, religious action, uh, uh, the uh, embracing of it, the uh, the, uh, de the relinquishing of it, the, the denial, the, uh, the embracing again, all this over the years. And I've always been, the subjects I have always, uh, that I've dealt with, um, usually had these, these, um, uh, the foundation in 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 uh, religious uh, religious uh, issues uh, going from mean streets even the taxi driver that Paul Schrader wrote uh, to uh, Raging Bull certainly because it's about his behavior and uh, uh, about forgiving himself before he could even begin to accept God's forgiveness or uh, lighten up other people himself and the people around him so. Uh, every one of these themes, uh, uh, th these themes, I should say, affected most of the pictures I made, and I always sought out stories that would, that would, uh, literally did s seek out stories that would um, um, illustrate this or, or uh, push me further along a line of somehow trying to comprehend it. And um, it led to, um, let's say, Raging Bull and led to Temptation of Christ, which led to silence, uh, ultimately, even and in the middle, Kundun. So uh, for me, uh, when you're uh, this, when you're dealing with um, subject matter uh, that has such a philosophical and religious impact, um, and you're trying to understand it, or at least trying to be immersed in it to begin to understand it, then that keeps you going because that affects your life. It it isn't like you make a film and then you know you live life a different way. Uh, it all comes together. Uh, so. Uh, I've been very fortunate that uh, some of the pictures I've made have helped me uh, try to sort out things in my own life. Yeah, well, Andrew Garfield I saw in this film Boy A, because I like a lot of the British films that come over, and uh, I, uh, I really liked his performance. Um, uh, and at that point in time, uh, there were a list of actors and younger actors whom I hadn't seen before. I looked at their films. Many of them came in for auditions. Um, uh, and Andrew did too. And uh, I must say that uh, the audition that Andrew did uh, for me was very convincing to the point where I kept him there for another, about two and a half hours, trying different lines of dialogue, uh, trying different scenes that Jay and I had written that we were a little concerned about, you know, whether, uh, whether the, the dialogue was strong enough or whatever. And I, I just believed him. And uh, he was so convincing. And he, had, he came in at such an emotional high level that he, I knew that he'd be able to shape it and, and, and gradually bring it down, bring it up as he needed to be as an instrument in a sense. He could control that, I could see it. But more importantly was that he was really willing to do it. Uh, there are a few actors over the years, because a number of times the picture started and then stopped. But there are a couple of actors over the years who just honestly said, we don't believe in this sort of thing. I'm, I'll do any other film with you, but I, um, I can't bring myself to go into this world. Well, I think with Thelma Schoonmaker, we started editing features together in uh, 1980, uh, the Raging Bull. And uh, uh, it, it's very difficult to explain how you work together. Um, but I've been lucky to have such a great collaborator over the years who knows what I like to do, who also uh, has a sense of emotion uh, emotional connection to the material. And this is a key, key factor. And one of the key, one of the major things we do is that she never or hardly ever visits the set or where we're shooting. She just receives the rushes raw in a way so that if uh, something happened on set by accident or something unpleasant and uh, you could say, oh, I, I don't like that because I don't want to be reminded, then she says, no, it's actually very good. I mean, she had no idea how that occurred. You follow? She's just dealing with the footage, and there's no bias to it. And so this is something that's really important. But, but the main thing is trust. The main thing is trust. She's not a person, if the studio comes in or a producer comes in and says, recut this for me, and we're releasing the picture this way against Marty's wishes, uh, she wouldn't do it.